Yeah, so if you realize, I'm not really located in my studio, but right now I'm in Austria and I couldn't take all my gear with me, obviously, uh, but I took some parts of it. And a few days back, I was visiting my mate Stunz in Munich and I was borrowing him my virus B synthesizer since he was very interested in it and uh, maybe can make some progress with that. And now I'm here and thinking like, ah, I have some sounds in mind that I would love to reproduce or I would work to work on. And on the other side, I was reading uh, that the Motorola DSP emulation on a computer is quite far developed. And I think it's worth to check out how far the virus emulation is working on a computer. And this is what I would like to cover today. The virus was uh, released end of the 90s, I think 1996 or 1997. And since then there were further iterations like virus A, virus B, C, TI, TI2, you name it, and some rec versions in between us, like small 1HE rec versions, as well as DSP, it was for the Pro Tools uh, platform. Nevertheless, the virus for years was famous because of its sound, its uh, crispy, sharp bass lines and um, really endless possibilities of what you actually can do. And it was really well equipped for a long time, like really good effects like delay, chorus, flanger, you name it, as well a punchy sound, nice filters, just everything. It's a workhorse, right? In the recent years, I think VSTs became a more popular thing and could catch up again with the virtual analog synthesizer modeling. A lot of people out there are still interested how the stuff works and how you set this up. Um, how you get a virus on your computer. This is what I'm gonna check out today. So the first thing what you have to do is check out this DSP 56300 emulation block. And here you get all the information that are actually necessary and uh, what the current state of development is. Um, so maybe to give you some background information what is happening here. The virus in the end is just a computer running some DSP chips, digital sound processing or signal processing and it is using some very famous Motorola chips on there. And now here are some smart kits that are working on the emulation of this uh, Motorola DSP so that we can run it in a tool uh, in our computers. Either it's Mac, Windows or Linux, doesn't really matter. That's the cool thing about that. But then on the other side, you still need some kind of ROM, means the, the operating system that is really running on the virus synthesizer. And then of course you don't have, maybe not the surface, and this is where maybe some handy uh, plugins come in place uh, that uh, help you to uh, really work on the virus remotely. Check out what you wanna have, what you wanna download. Like for I, for example, here I was downloading the virus edition uh, audio unit plugin. So now if I switch over to my Ableton Live, I can load this DSP plugin. So if you just download the emulator itself and load it up as a plugin, you see a very blank GUI. And I'm curious because it already provides you like all the features, right? For example, filter, oscillator one, oscillator two, oscillator three, and so on. And I can tell you that this Motorola is not used just by the virus synthesizer, but there were some other synthesizers as well. I'm really familiar with that. What else you will need is, and this is really dark gray area uh, when you search on the internet, um, you have to find a ROM, a read-only memory file of your desired virus synthesizer. Like in my case, I want to emulate my virus B. So I was downloading a ROM image from the virus B synthesizer. And by the way, disclaimer, I believe I'm allowed to do so because I own a virus. I don't encourage you to do piracy, but just make, be aware of what you're doing there. But once you got this ROM file, place it into the plugin folder and then you have a fully equipped synthesizer already. So check this out. And you see, by the way, I don't have a MIDI keyboard with me, so I uh, will play with the Ableton uh, built-in keyboard. And here you get already the problem. Uh, if you are emulating this on your computer, it's really hungry for resources. You know, you, on, the, on the one hand, you could argue, okay, maybe the emulation is not so far like with other systems. But on the other side, you can say, or you really see the power of these Motorola DSPs. And if you consider that they were released like 20 years ago, or if not more, you already see the potential for proper sound processing back then, right? So maybe let me increase my latency to be able to play this plugin.
Isn't that amazing? I think this is amazing. So you see already you can operate the virus with this um, with this uh, overview but what you might want to have is maybe a proper UI and check out what is there as well. So here from Mystery Islands they built this plugin where you are able to control your virus synthesizer, your external gear. So you see here they have different plugins and you can go there with the Access Virus editor and you can go for the demo that also already works. Right now I was also just using the demo. Just something in between for the Mac users and maybe for the Windows users you might need some further plugin to do so. But on a Mac you have here this audio MIDI setup and then what you want to do is opening here this MIDI studio and activate your ISC driver. I forgot what this ISC is standing for but inter application communication or something. This means you have a virtual MIDI bus. Yeah, I just added five because I can. And then here I can say, okay, my Ableton plugin uh, will receive MIDI from, I mean, first of all, all ins, yeah, but you see here now the ISC drivers. And now if I have a virtual MIDI keyboard, like this plugin that I will show you in a second. So here we have the Access Virus Editor. Here we have our virus. I really love this overview, but I'm really not sure if I really need this because now I have this plugins capability of turning and flipping the filters etc anyhow on my own right you already see it uh, I'm running a MacBook Pro late 2018 and yes I'm recording my video and uh, the audio right now but my MacBook Pro is, is struggling with this plugin, so you need a dedicated computer just for this plugin if you want to use it seriously. Or you have to render or bounce it all the time. But uh, maybe there's some optimization uh, possible in the background. I'm not sure yet. I have to figure this out. prepared that this is really CPU hungry uh, but I think you will figure out how to optimize your computer to use it. I'm really interested in this although I have a virus synthesizer I think this is really really interesting. On the other side I think what needs to be done next is really a sound comparison and when I have my virus again next to me I want to do such a video and let me know if you're interested in such a comparison and also let me know if you see any easy chance to optimize this plugin or the way how you use it yeah if you have some ideas let me know so and I would love to see some comments uh, on there and give me a like if I could provide you some interesting information on this project and uh, the current state of development talk to you bye